Hi everyone, my name is Mevish. Today I'll be sharing the tips and tricks for a successful interview and how to prepare for the most commonly asked questions. Alright, so let's quickly get started with the top tips. So it's important to remember that your interview starts the moment you enter into the workplace. By this I mean that you might be noticed for your interaction with others and your behavior in general, like how friendly you are, etc. So watch your actions. Be prepared. Know what type of interview is it, formal or informal. This will help you understand what to expect as formal interview would involve scenario-based questions like about certain procedures, laws, ethics, about your judgmental skills, basically the things that you would be expected to do at work. Be on time shows you're disciplined. Be at least 5 to 10 minutes before so that you're not in a rush and you feel more relaxed. Okay, look smart, dress appropriately, put on some formal clothes. Sound honest and genuine. That is really important. Basically, it should not look like that you're giving scripted answers. Rather, it should uh, come out naturally. Now, obviously, you will need to practice. But there is a difference between memorizing and practicing, isn't it? Have some bullet points in your mind or else you will be blank and out of words. That's the reason it's essential to know the most commonly asked questions, which I'll be discussing in a while. Know about the company, go through their website or other social media platforms, have a look at their staff, read their goals, what do they do, etc. Things like this will help you answer certain questions like why would you like to join this organization? Send them a thank you message. This will leave a positive impact on them, whether you will be selected or not, but you will be remembered as a person with good etiquettes. And who knows, this quality may lead you to your dream job. Alright, so let's see the most commonly asked questions and the strategies to answer them. Let me tell you these are the questions that are relevant for any professional interview. And the whole idea is to give you the right tools to prepare your unique answers. For your guidance, I will be giving some sample answers. So you would be able to derive the idea of answering such questions. Question number one. Tell me about yourself. This looks like a simple question, but it's a bit tricky to answer because it's very broad. You might be thinking where to start. Remember, be relevant to your job. The employer is not interested to know about your personal life. Rather, he is interested to see your communication skills and passion for your job. You may briefly cover your education, interest in your field and your experience so far. Think of answering in a way like what you did in the past, what you are doing presently and your future. For example, I would say, Ever since I completed high school, I knew that I wanted to be in a profession where I could impact the world in a positive way. This led me to become a dental professional. Presently, I perform general dentistry, but in future, I would be interested to carry out orthodontic treatments. So this shows the employer that you are dedicated and highly motivated towards your job and also keen to excel further in your field. Question number two, why there is a gap in your work history? This might be asked to see how you respond to it and the concern that if there is a long gap, then you may not be confident enough to work. I would advise you just be honest. For whatever reason you had to take a break, speak about it. And if in that duration you did anything that would help you progress in your career, then you can mention that as well. For example, I would say, the gap is due to personal reasons. I got married that year and took some time off. Moreover, I was looking for other opportunities, such as if I would like to open up a practice or study further. During this time, I got the chance to network with people of same interest and learned a lot from them. So this will show that you acknowledge the gap and you're trustworthy. Question number three. Where do you see yourself after, let's say, five years? This is to assess what benefit you will be able to provide to the company in future and of course to see how do you plan to develop in your career. Good idea will be to know about the organization objective and tailor your answer accordingly. You may also include your strength. For example, I would say, hopefully if things fall in place as planned, then I would see myself as an orthodontic consultant and I genuinely believe that the world is evolving every day and so should we. That's the reason I would like to get into an interesting research and keep myself updated with the latest advancements. So this shows the employer that I'm extremely ambitious and would be beneficial for the clinic in the sense that the speciality will attract more patients to the clinic apart from general patients. Question number four, what are your strengths and weakness? This question is to assess whether you have the qualities required for the role. Use this as an opportunity to highlight your strong points. Think about what would be the employer looking for in this particular role. 
It's easy to speak about strength, but when it comes to weakness, we might not be able to think about anything. Never say there is no weak point as nobody is flawless. So think about any setbacks that you had in the past. Think what you have learned from them and how did it change you? How have you grown from it? Like a person you are today. So those failures are not seen as failures, rather considered as a stepping stone towards building your career. For example, I would say, I consider my strength as I'm very empathetic towards my patients. In my previous job, I have been told that I'm an excellent communicator. At the same time, I'm highly motivated towards my career and always strive to enhance my knowledge, for which I had undertaken a postgraduate diploma. So this shows your positives and negatives and how you had overcome your weak points and progress further. And a golden tip is to back up your speech with an evidence like what you did or where you learned it or how you achieved that certain thing. This gives weightage to your talk. The technique that you can follow is STAR. Now in case if it's your very first job and you don't have any previous experience, then show that you are enthusiastic to learn. Speak about what you learned during your degree. Show that you are flexible with time. You never know these qualities may get you selected against someone who is more experienced but lack in these qualities. Question number 5. What are your salary expectations? Strategy to answer this is do your research. When you apply for the position, find out about the pay scale this organization gives to such roles. Easy ways to search over the internet or you may ask someone in the similar position. Many a times the pay scale differs from area to area, so remember to consider that. This will give you a ballpark figure X. Instead of you answering first, ask them how much would they generally pay for this role. Either they will say a particular amount, let's say Y, or they would just ignore it politely. Notice if Y is less than X, then there is scope of negotiation. But don't jump in straight away. Then explain your current pay. It's important to understand the factors that reflect the salary and explain it to the employer. Example, if your pay is less, it could be because your job involves less responsibility or vice versa, then say the expected pay. Be reasonable and you may give a broad range, let's say between X and Y. Time to negotiate is after getting an offer, so you are in a better position. So for example, I would say, do you mind if I ask how much would you generally pay for this position? Let's say employer say some amount. Then well, at the moment my pay is so and so. Because I joined here as a fresher and had no previous experience. However, since I am working for the past 5 years, I would expect a pay of so and so. Okay, many a times employers ask, do you have any questions? I would say always ask questions related to your job or the company. This shows your interest, but never say no. You may ask questions like any opportunities for progression in future. For example, I would ask what are the most common treatments that you perform. Avoid appearing only interested in salary. And my final tip is be confident. From my experience in dental field, I can say that normally in interviews there will be general questions. The employer would like to know if you are confident in your duties because your degree already proves that you are capable. So focus on improving your soft skills like communication. Of course, as healthcare professionals, it's vital to know your duties and limitations. That's the reason some corporate practices conduct a clinical interview. If you are a dental professional in UK, please find the links attached in the description box below that might be useful for clinical interviews. With the right mindset, you can definitely ace your interview. Hope this video helped you prepare for it. Wish you good luck. Please do like, share and subscribe if you find this useful and do let me know if you have any suggestions for my next video. Thank you.